Winning a court case in California is just the first step. The next challenge is collecting the court-awarded attorney fees. This process can be complex and requires a thorough understanding of the state's laws and procedures. This guide will provide you with the necessary information and steps to successfully collect your court-awarded attorney fees in California. Understanding court-awarded attorney fee. In California, court-awarded attorney fees are amounts that the losing party in a lawsuit is ordered to pay to the winning party's attorney. This is not automatic and is usually awarded in cases where a contract or statute allows for it. These fees are meant to cover the cost of legal representation and can significantly reduce the financial burden on the winning party. However, collecting these fees can be a complex process that requires careful navigation of the legal system. When are attorney fees awarded? Attorney fees are typically awarded in cases where a contract or a statute allows for it. For instance, in a breach of contract case, if the contract includes a clause that allows for the recovery of attorney fees, the court may award them to the prevailing party. Similarly, certain statutes in California, such as the California Fair Employment and Housing Act, allow for the recovery of attorney fees by the prevailing party. It's important to consult with a legal professional to understand if your case qualifies for attorney fees. Steps to collect court-awarded attorney fees in California Collecting court-awarded attorney fees in California involves several steps. It's important to follow these steps carefully to ensure you successfully collect your fees. Obtain a judgment The first step in collecting attorney fees is to obtain a judgment from the court. This judgment should clearly state the amount of attorney fees awarded. Record the judgment Once you have the judgment, it needs to be recorded with the county recorder's office. This creates a lien on the debtor's property. Enforce the judgment. After recording the judgment, you can begin the enforcement process. This can involve wage garnishment, bank levies, or property liens. Each of these steps requires careful attention to detail and a thorough understanding of California's legal procedures. It's often beneficial to work with a legal professional during this process. Obtaining a judgment. The process of obtaining a judgment begins with filing a lawsuit against the debtor. This lawsuit should include a claim for attorney fees. Once the lawsuit is filed, the court will hold a trial to determine if you are entitled to the fees. If the court rules in your favor, it will issue a judgment that includes the amount of attorney fees awarded. This judgment is the legal document that allows you to collect the fees from the debtor. Recording the judgment. So after obtaining the judgment, it's important to record it with the county recorder's office. This creates a line on any real property owned by the debtor in that county. The lien remains in place until the judgment is paid in full or it expires. Recording the judgment also gives you the right to collect interest on the judgment amount. The interest accrues from the date the judgment is entered until it is paid in full. Enforcing the judgment. The final step in collecting court-awarded attorney fees is enforcing the judgment. This can involve several methods, including wage garnishment, bank levies, and property lines. Wage garnishment involves taking a portion of the debtor's wages to pay the judgment. Bank levies allow you to seize funds from the debtor's bank account. Property lines give you the right to sell the debtor's property to satisfy the judgment. Challenges in collecting attorney fees while the process of collecting court-awarded attorney fees is straightforward, it can present several challenges. These can include locating the debtor's assets, dealing with bankruptcy filings, and navigating complex legal procedures. It's important to be prepared for these challenges and to have a plan in place to overcome them. Working with a legal professional can often make this process easier and more successful. Locating the debtor's assets one of the biggest challenges in collecting court-awarded attorney fees is locating the debtor's assets. This can involve extensive research and investigation. In some cases, you may need to hire a private investigator or use online resources to locate the debtor's assets. Dealing with bankruptcy filings. If the debtor files for bankruptcy, it can significantly complicate the collection process. In some cases, the bankruptcy court may discharge the judgment, making it uncollectible. In other cases, 
You may need to file a claim with the bankruptcy court and wait for the bankruptcy process to conclude before you can collect your fees. Navigating legal procedures. The legal procedures involved in collecting court-awarded attorney fees can be complex and confusing. It's important to understand these procedures and to follow them carefully. Failure to do so can result in delays or even the loss of your right to collect the fees. Collecting court-awarded attorney fees in California can be a complex process. It requires a thorough understanding of the state's laws and procedures, as well as careful attention to detail. Despite the challenges, it's possible to successfully collect these fees with the right knowledge and resources. Whether you're a seasoned attorney or a litigant navigating the system for the first time, understanding the process of collecting court-awarded attorney fees can make the process smoother and more successful. Remember, when in doubt, it's always beneficial to seek the advice of a legal professional.